The same principle is used in things like handstands. So if I bring my arms up into the air initially and lengthen the spine, slightly extending the spine as well, and then bring my hands to the floor. As I'm moving it towards the floor, I'm pushing the hips forward throughout. I lean onto the hands and lift the head up. Lifting the upper back and pushing the sitting bones towards the hands forms the front of the abdomen. Simply breathing into my diaphragm, breathing with my diaphragm into the abdomen, causes an increase in the intra-abdominal intrathoracic pressure, which straight away puts, puts strength into my arms. Here I simply breathe into the abdomen as my legs are lifting. And an instant strength comes to the body. It doesn't feel like a strain to lift up. Whereas you can lift up to a handstand with just brute force. A lot of weight lifters will do lifting exercises using what's called the Valsalva manoeuvre where you make an in-breath and then hold the breath and tense all the muscles of exhalation. In so doing, you also increase intra-abdominal, intra-thoracic pressure and intracranial pressure as well. This gives you more strength in the arms, but the problem is a weightlifter's blood pressure has been shown to go up from a normal level of 120 over 70 to extreme levels of 380 over 360. And so there's a risk then that if you use the Valsalva manoeuvre for strength exercises such as lifting weights or lifting into a handstand, that you risk damaging your, you know, you can burst a blood vessel in your head or your heart, get a heart attack or a stroke, and just increase a lot of stress at the same time. So the trick is to be very, very calm 